All right, good. Where are you getting antsy? All right, go ahead. Coach, um, you have that 19-point lead in the first half. The offense wasn't great, but it's, you had the big lead. Um, what what happened there in the second half to just get them back and get UNC well, back in the game? Well, we didn't guard. We, we decided not to guard. Uh, you know, our kids, I think, wanted to see if we could make this an exciting game for everybody and keep everyone around. Uh, I think they think we get a percentage of the concession stands. So you keep them here for a good solid two hours, they're bound to go back and get another beer or something to eat. I mean, I, I, I wish I could tell you. It's, I mean, we gave up 23 points in the first half and gave up 24 in the third quarter. We, we simply did not come out with a focus that we needed to. Um, you know, and, and it's happened, our Kentucky game, same thing. We're up 18 on them. And figure out a way to win. I mean, that's, at the end of the day, it's a win. But we've got some work to do. We'll sit there and break this down and show them the areas we, we have to improve in. But, you know, we, we got stagnant offensively. We missed some shots. They went zone. And then you can't score in transition if you can't stop them. I know you were talking about you wanting to see improved effort on, on the rebounding. Um, obviously, that was a big part of the, of the big first half. Um, but overall, were you pleased how, how your um, team def- attacked the boards today? Well, I mean, it, it's a huge imp- improvement for us to, to, to out-rebound them by 15. The problem is we, we were up th- uh, 13 on them in the first half. Uh, but it's just, I mean, it's we'll take it. It's a win. I was excited to see Ky- Ky- Kylie perform like, perform like she did. Uh, I, saw, I thought AAC made some big shots. Dana had been getting in the gym. She made some big shots for us. But we, we've got a lot of them that have got to get back in the gym consistently. You know, you can't just go when things aren't going well and then think, okay, I'll fix it, and then stop going. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like not studying for an exam and think you're going to pass it. So I've, I've, I've got a few that have got to get their commitment back if they want to be special basketball players. What was the cause of so many turnovers today? Well, hell, hell if, if I knew that, we wouldn't have them. I mean, we threw the ball ball to the wrong team. You tell me. I mean, there were a few of them. We threw it right to them. Now, I don't I, – I, we may think we, we get an assist when we threw it directly to the other team. They, they go down and shoot a layup. Um, it was sloppy, just care, care, careless. And, and I, told, I told them in half court, we're, we're not very emotionally mature. When a few things start to go bad, then we're not mature enough to, to, to stop it and say, okay, hey, now we got to get a stop. Now we got to execute. Uh, you can just watch them and see if you can't watch that game and tell when things start, start to go bad for a player or two, I don't know what to tell you to watch. But I, I tell them, I go, guys, everybody in the arena can tell you're a wreck right now. So when are you going to stop that? Because the opposing team can tell it too. So they keep going right at you. Uh, so we have to be able to mature emotionally, and, and w- we can. But it, it's not going to happen overnight. Hey, how do you, after your game, how did you feel? You know what, Ollie? Uh, I, I, I always like to win. You know, it, it's not much fun to lose. Uh, I'll, I'll take an ugly win any day, and this kind of fit into that. So we're 1-0 and in the league. If you want to have a chance to, to win the ACC, you have to win your home games. So this was a great way to start off. We've got a good first half to show, to show our kids because I thought defensively we did a really good job. Uh, but the second half's a whole different story, and we've got to be able to play a full 40 minutes. Coach, you did that rebound them 45 to 30. Does that amount of margin surprise you somewhat? Well, you know what? I think we're both – we were both at the bottom of the league in rebounding. Uh, so it was, a, it was a battle of the bottom dwellers in rebounding. And we, we figured out a way to, to get to the glass, and, and I, I was really pleased with our effort. Now, are we going to be able to do that on Sunday at Duke? Are we going to be able to do that next Thursday at Notre Dame? So there's going to be a lot for us to to, to try to figure out here in uh, a few short days. 
Jeff, you mentioned wanting to see your team be more resilient. Do you have early thoughts on the first steps in toward doing that, especially when and does it does it play a role that you didn't play a lot of maybe I think three single digit point margins in the non conference schedule? No, because we, we, we had some really good games in the non non conference and you've got four four you've got everybody that was on that floor tonight returned from a team that played in the final four. I mean you know, we won the ACC championship last year, I think, by a total of eight points. We played three games in the conference tournament and won by eight points. So the, 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 these kids have played in plenty of, of close games. Now it's just a matter of us continuing to stay focused. And like I told them, some of them are starting to realize, and I hope they have, how good Maisha Hines Allen was. You know, Maisha was our 15- to 18-foot shooter. Anytime she stepped out away from the basket in reverse pivot, it's in. I mean, she made it. Free throw line, she makes it. Well, right, right now, we don't have that. We don't really have anybody on our team who's got kind of like that. When that ball leaves their hand, you're like, oh, it's in. You know, and that's the one area on the floor that we're struggling scoring. So we're going to have to get some people to kind of figure that out. I talked to Jazz about that. I, I think Jazz can help us with that. And, you know, the great thing, I, she, she played well. She had a, a 17 on, on 7 of 11. But I told her, I go, if we take out your layups, how, how many shots you make? And when we start playing people that are going to play zone, they're going to make it more difficult for her to get to the, to, to, to the rim. Obviously, you'd like to have you, – you, you need close games. You need to play, like you said, the I experience. hate close games. <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> Fair enough. When you are, when you get in one like you did tonight, what do you need to see your team do better? Well, no, I thought our, I, I thought when, when when it got down to five three, I mean I had three timeouts left. I, I wasn't gonna call them. No, I refused. My staff's gonna call timeouts, and I uh, uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make them figure it out because there there's going to become games where I, I'm not gonna have any to bail them out with, and I thought. They did a pretty darn good job. I thought Kylie Shook's f a finish there in the paint was a phenomenal finish. You know, it's a two-point game, and she goes up strong and finishes. Uh, I was really ex excited for her. I thought AC's three was a big-time shot. But we go up five, and then we give up an O board, and then we foul Bailey as she puts it in, which makes it a, a, a two-point game. So there, there's plenty of film, which is going to be good for us to show. Before the break, you had met, uh, talked about having Dana come off the bench and providing a spark plug and being a change of pace. Was there something that you um, saw in her over the last couple of practices uh, to give her a start, uh, the, the starting nod today? And no, it's just, I mean, it's it's real simple, and I mean, I, it doesn't bother me. I mean, AC missed her flight back from Christmas break. So that's, you lose your starting spot for that. Now, she'll probably be back in the starting lineup on Sunday. But, I, you know. It's simple. I mean, it's nothing major, but I give you five solid days off, six counting the, tw the the 21st, and you can't figure your way to get to the airport. I got a problem with that. That's all. Coach Hatchell had mentioned getting Paris Key back more involved in the second half was a big thing for them and coming back on you. Would you pretty much agree with that assessment as well? Well, yeah, she, she, she just went by us. I mean, she scored. It was one-on-one, -on -one, which, which is what their team's all about. I mean, they're – if you let them get going to the half court and just play one-on-one, -on -one, they're hard to stop. I mean, they shot 27 free, uh, free throws. They, they go 5 of 26 from a three-point line. So I thought we did a, a really good job of defending that for the most part. But you, you just can't let them continue to drive on you and drive on you and drive on you. There has to be some pride that, that, that comes in to where it's like, okay, I'm not going to let you beat me. And, that, and that's you our had a strong concern. finish that's to this one Achilles out there. What were you seeing on them? Were you able to get to the line and get those shots and hit those baskets? Uh, basically just reading the defense, trying to see how they were playing us. Um, at the end of the game, they played a lot of zone. So we had to try to attack the gaps and make open shots. How do you think your first game went after coming back from Christmas break? Woo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it wasn't uh, – we started off the game really well. And if we would have did that for the second half, I think I would have said the game went great. But the second half, it, it was bad. Our defense was bad. Our rebounding wasn't as good as it was the first half. And we, we just didn't play the same like we did the first half. 
Um, like I said, our defense wasn't as good. Rebounding wasn't as good, and we let their the, we let their main players get hot. Jazz, you guys had a you guys had a. 45-30 uh, rebounding edge. I know that was something Coach Walls had really stressed uh, to you guys heading into this game. What was it that um, really worked for you guys on the boards? And then also, in particular, uh, in that uh, last uh, in that last few seconds, Asia misses a, a free throw. Um, just t uh, talk a little bit about that play and, and, and what you did to get the offensive board there. Um, well, rebounding is all about effort. So Coach Wall spoke on that all season long, that we just need to get more effort in going after rebounds and giving second and third efforts. And um, on that one, <clears throat> excuse me. On that one, um, when our person, is, when our teammate is shooting a free throw, we're supposed to X out. And so I just went hard uh, to the opposite block, and the ball just happened to fall my way. <laughs> I wish it would have went in, but it just <laughs> happened to fall my way. <laughs> For either of you, when, when North Carolina made the run in the second half and it seemed like they had all the momentum, what, what, did, you, what did you think that your team did to, to get some back, to, to stop them and get some momentum back? Let me go first. I think we just had to settle down. Um, they got us playing really fast, and, and that's what their game is. They like to pay, play fast, and we started to play into their hands. So once we got the ball, we settled down. We ran our plays and made them guard us. That's what changed it. As you were able to complete an alley without getting a technical call on you, just kind of talk about that a little bit. It was a great pass from Asia, and uh, you threw me the second one? Mm -hmm. And a great pass from AC. So, just, you know, going up and finish it. <laughs> in the, in the, what was your feeling on Coach Walls' message after the game at, at midcourt? What did he tell you guys? And, and was it? A bit of a was it was one that you maybe hadn't heard before this season, the start of conference play and and the start of a, a, a new season maybe. Yeah, um, he just basically said like everybody needs to get in the gym uh, because um, the last this game and the last game when teams players um, zone we haven't been looking good, and so he um, just want us to get in the gym. Um, we put in a good effort today on rebounding, but then we start turning the ball over. The last few games, we haven't been turning the ball over, but we haven't been rebounding. So we have to put them both together. We have to put a complete game together. And when we do that, we're, we're really good. So that will be our focus um, these next couple of days going up to Duke, just put, trying to put a whole game together. Coach Wells said um, in those last couple of minutes he could have called a timeout, but he wasn't going to to see how you all reacted. Um, did you all think he was going to call one? And were you looking for it? And it, since he didn't, who were you all looking to? Or were you anybody – like looking to step up. No, he told us in timeout. He said, "I'm not calling timeout." So <coughs> we were prepared mentally to have to play our game and be smart. Um, we were just trying to get the ball in, make sure we didn't turn the ball over. It wasn't to a specific person at per se. So we just had to play smart and and make smart decisions. It's been two weeks since the last game. It, it, each one of you, do you think that's maybe too much time off? this time of the season? Would you like to have maybe a game before UNC? No, I wouldn't say it's too much time off because in that time we get to really focus on us and work on what we need to work on. And I think we actually came out and did a lot, a bit, a better job rebounding than we have been in the past. So I think it, it helped us a little bit. But, of course, um, it's not a surprise that we came into our first game back a little shaky. So we're, we're going to have to pick it up.